The first thing you have to understand in any authoritarian or hybrid, half authoritarian and non-democratic regime, the opposition is very weak. Uh, and there are few people in the opposition right now because it's very risky for you. Uh, you risk uh, a lot of things, including your uh, job, your freedom, and your family. That's why there are few leaders in the Russian opposition. The second thing, it is not allowed to participate in any public debate. Uh, it is, not, it is not represented in the media, I mean TV stations, because TV media outlets are the most influential ones. Uh, the, uh, the third thing, that uh, in an authoritarian regime, uh, there are no debates, and that makes an opposition even weaker. The final thing, we are not sure that the opposition uh, will be allowed to participate in the elections. That means that they won't have any chance to influence uh, their current system. That's, that, these are the main obstacles for the opposition, and uh, I'm not sure that uh, in the recent future the situation will uh, change a lot. You have to understand, and it's not a unique Russian situation. When you control the media, you can influence people. Uh, you have to understand that the most important thing to control is television, because internet is not as, as influential. You have to search for information, it takes time, and people are lazy in their nature, and they prefer to switch on TV and to watch the news in the TV. So he controls the media. And uh, that means that Putin can form an opinion of people. The majority of people don't have any opinion about foreign policy, about uh, liberal values, nothing. They only, they are, uh, what is important is how they live uh, and daily issues. Uh, that is why if you control the media, you can form any opinion. And of course, Putin has strong support of his foreign policy and he's regarded as a very good uh, politician in terms of his foreign policy. Uh, lots of people uh, still support the idea of uh, the annexation of Crimea. Many support, uh, uh, the majority of people support the intervention uh, into Syria, uh, the military operation, say, in, in, in Syria. And there was one funny thing about that. Uh, before uh, the separation was launched, two weeks before, uh, there was a poll conducted by Levada Center, and they asked people whether, whether they would support um, direct military assistance for Assad. And the majority answered no. After the, pre the operation started, in two weeks' time, they were asked more or less the same question, and they answered yes. <laughs> that means that people don't have any opinion, and that is very dangerous, uh, and that's why it is so important to have uh, independent media outlets or different media outlets that uh, present different opinions on the same issues. The power is concentrated in the hands of Putin and uh, some people close to, the, to him. I don't know what will happen in the future because, as I, as I have said, the uh, drawback of any authoritarian regime is in unpredictability. You cannot predict the future. You don't know how uh, the decisions in the Kremlin are taken. Nobody knows this. Uh, you don't have any open political discussion. You don't know who might be the future leaders of Russia, nothing. That's why I won't uh, uh, predict anything, but I can say that the model uh, built by Putin doesn't work in any sense, in economic terms, in political terms, in social terms. It doesn't work. And I do not see any positive sides of, 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 of this regime for Russia. And it's also highly unpredictable, but it can survive for a long time.
I would say that in Europe people are enjoying uh, uh, lots of rights and that's why uh, they, uh, it's, it's a matter of experience. So for many years uh, all these rights were in place and now are in place. And that, uh, that is why there is this rise in populism. It's always like in any society there are, there are swings from liberalism to socialism and back. <laughs> and it's another example. And I think because uh, they probably didn't have negative experience uh, with a more rigid system, they would want it. They think that that can be a solution to, to, to the problem. And it is easy, and it is easy to sell this solution. That's why Putin uh, was so lucky uh, as a politician. He sold these easy solutions. Uh, firm hands and things like that. But at some point of time, I think in Europe, because I, I, I think that it is impossible to change the whole system right in Russia because it, uh, it, it uh, was built long ago, at some point of time it would change when people would see that it doesn't actually work.